in my previous videos uh, uh, I have proved these three results I proved sine inverse of x uh, which is also called arc sine is 1 over sine squared minus 1 so we proved this uh, I also proved this cos inverse of x or arc cos is minus 1 over x squared minus 1 and this is also I proved tan inverse of x is arc tan is 1 over 1 plus x squared now you it will be good for calculus students or students who are taking exams to know these results but uh, in case if you forget the results you can prove this in a very short time so in this video what I want to do is I want to prove these three so I'll start from sec and then I'll do cot cosec and then finally cot okay so let me go back so our function is y is equal to say sec inverse of x I like I'm going to write sec inverse like this in some books the same thing sec inverse of x is nothing but arc sec of x okay so they are one and the same so if you're not familiar with sec, in, sec inverse or secant inverse of x this is the same thing so y is equal to sec inverse of x means x is equal to sec y okay so now I'm going to differentiate this with respect to y on both sides. So I will say, well, can I say d by dy of x is equal to d by dy of uh, sec y. I have a formula sheet here. So this is a formula sheet. So here you can see uh, differentiation of sec x is sec x tan x. Okay. So this differentiates too. So I can say dx by dy is equal to sec y times tan y. Now we want to write this in terms of x. Okay. So let me box this away. So if I branch out from here, can I say that x squared is equal to 6 squared y? I'm squaring both sides. So can I say 6 squared is equal to, now 6 squared y is same as 1 plus 10 squared y. Now if you take away 1 from both sides, I can say x squared minus 1 is equal to 10 squared y. Therefore, I can say 10 y is square root of x squared minus 1. So I can write 10 y as x squared minus 1 and what can I write sec y as okay we already know sec y is x so let me so I can say dx by dy we're differentiating with respect to y is sec y is x times square root of x squared minus 1 and if I take the reciprocal or if I inverse it so this is this is over 1 Okay, so we can say dy by dx is 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, so this is, uh, we have proved sec y, or if y, uh, if y is uh, the sec or inverse function of uh, sec, or y is sec inverse of x, dy by dx is 1 over x times x squared minus 1 okay so now let us take so we have proved this now now we're going to look at cosec x okay that means if y is cosec inverse of x there should be only minus would come this is the same thing this is minus 1 sorry okay so let us start so I can say uh, y is equal to sec sorry, cosec inverse of x. So if y is cosec inverse of x, x is equal to cosec y. Now I'm differentiating with respect to y again. So d by dy of x 
is equal to d by dy of cosec y. So again, I'll show you the formula sheet. Uh, cosec y or cosec x, the derivative of cosec x is minus cosec x cot x. So this differentiates to so dx by dy is negative cosec y cot y. Okay, we already know that cosec or x is equal to cosec y. Okay, so I can write cosec y in terms of x. But I want to write cot y in terms of x. So I'm going to branch out from here. So I can say x or cosec squared y cosec squared y is equal to x squared. And I know 1 plus cot squared is cosec squared. So I can say 1 plus cot squared y is equal to x. So cot squared y is x squared minus 1. So taking square root of both sides, I can say cot y is square root of x squared minus 1. So this is the second result. So I'm going to substitute cot y as square root of x squared minus 1 in place of cot y and in place of cosec y I can put x. So let me change color. Therefore I can say dx by dy is negative x times square root of x squared minus 1 and this is over 1. I'm going to take, um, if I make the reciprocal of both sides, this is nothing but dy by dx is negative 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, so we've got the second result proved. Okay, so let us see whether we've got that. Yeah, we've got this. So finally, uh, the derivative of cot inverse of x or arc cot is negative 1 over 1 plus cot squared. Okay, so let me go back. Uh, so let us go up. So let me start with the red color. I'm again writing y is equal to cot inverse of x. So same process, x is equal to cot y. So d by dy of x is d by dy of cot y. So what is the formula sheet telling me? Cot x is cosec squared x. The derivative of cot x is negative cosec squared x. So I can write dx by dy is equal to negative or minus cosec squared y. Okay, I want to write this in terms of x. So again, I'll branch out from here and say that cot squared y is equal to x squared. And what's the identity that we know? We know 1 plus cot squared y or cot squared x is equal to cosec squared x. This is identity. So cot squared is cosec squared minus 1. Okay. So in place of cot squared, I can write cosec squared, cosec squared y minus 1 is equal to x. So adding 1 to both sides, I can say cosec squared y is x squared plus 1. So cosec y, cosec y, let me write that properly. So I don't like untidy work. Try to be as neat as possible. So cosec y is square root of x squared plus 1. Okay, so uh, uh, cosec, uh, cosec squared y. Okay, we didn't need so. Uh, oh, yeah, so we didn't need cosec square root of this, so there, there was no need of this, so we all we all only need uh, cosec squared y, because this is cosec squared y. So this is nothing but, so dx by dy is minus x squared plus 1. So if I take the reciprocal of both sides, I can say dy by dx 
we don't need the square root is negative 1 over x squared plus 1 or 1 plus x squared they're one and the same so let us see whether we got the result yeah cot squared x the derivative is minus 1 over uh, I made a mistake here <laughs> I'm sorry about this this should be better to correct the mistake so uh, I was right there you know, I'll rewrite this the cosec uh, this is this was right minus 1 over square root of I was carried away copying the same thing I didn't uh, so this is uh, uh, the derivative of 10 inverse of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared okay and here the square root is not there so let us let me change so this would be minus 1 over 1 plus x squared or x squared plus 1 are the same thing sorry for this mistake so let me go over this so this and this are basically the same okay if you remember sine the derivative of sine inverse of x is 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 for cos inverse of x is only minus the same thing for tan and cot are similar it's 1 over 1 plus x squared and for cot inverse is minus 1 over 1 plus x squared sec is the uh, this, uh, sorry a sec inverse of x the derivative of sec inverse of x is 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1 and the same thing so yeah basically uh, when you have the derivative of the inverse trig function it would be either 1 plus x squared or uh, 1 x squared minus or you, you have x squared plus 1 or x squared minus 1 okay and uh, yeah uh, one more thing is in for sec and cosec you have the square root okay and if you compare with sine and cosec okay so here you got x squared square root of x squared minus 1 and here also you got square root of x squared minus 1 okay x squared minus 1 and uh, yeah the same thing okay the only addition is x so it's a good if you can remember all this formula it will be really good but if, even if you can't it's all right you can prove this uh, in two minutes before the exams see you in the next